Hey guys, and welcome back to Watch It Not Included! My name is Twitch here, and we are playing in the LZ Alpha, the map that we have been running since the very beginning of the full release of Auction Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire! We have a little bit of a food shortage on the go at the moment, and this has uh, got me a little bit worried, and I think this is what is going to be the main drive for most of today's episode. We are running mostly off of Millwood at the moment, and whilst this is possible we really could do having a bit more going on and I think to actually make sure we can really get down and do the most efficient way possible I'm going to come into the furniture I'm going to go for a cot well you can see down below we have space for one more duplicate in the mess table I'm going to build the cot so that we can indeed welcome a farmer unto the fold because whilst we have decipher wherever he's gone I was expecting to see him over here uh, dealing with all the critters and the ranching that unfortunately is not actual crop farming. Another thing that I think we can do is, of course, redesign this entire stable area over here. The first thing I want to actually do is move the hatches down to here. The reason that we had them here is because they were close to the coal generator and all this setup that we had down here. But when we found out that the temperatures were wrong for slick life uh, up here, we moved the slicks and the carbon dioxide generator down here. I'm also going to go ahead, highlight that, press B for the copy, and put down another coal generator because I feel like we could do with a little bit more power. And, of course, as I was just about to say I'm gonna make this into a stables so that we can move all these hatches down yonder Another thing I'm gonna do here is actually in fact it is already on I was gonna turn this gas pump on because you can see that we are having a horrific issue with chlorine in this area so we're gonna pump all the gas down a yonder uh, I should actually show you the horrific problems we are having not the lit unlit wait where is it there we go uh, you can see all this chlorine here that really should be in this storage area over here so hopefully this guy is gonna go through pump it all out and clear this area to make it a nice livable area I would really like if at all possible to make this actually part of the inside of my base. It's going to be a little bit of work, but I think we can get there. What is Forrest? Oh, he's gone to pick up some meat. So one of the ways that the base appears to be failing, uh, i do not not sure if you guys remember the last episode, we went ahead and we did desperate measures. We zoomed all the way out. We set our pri uh, priority five tool and we dragged across the entirety of the base just to get everything back down to a uh, base level. This unfortunately means that nobody has been watching the microbe musher because whilst it's on a five, and that's kind of okay. Food poisoning in the food. Wait, what? Anyway, that's something to take, uh, take care of. Um... And whilst that's kind of okay, there's no one really with that as the priority. Let's have a look at the priorities. Let's have a look at the cooking. Yeah, maybe forest, but that's really not where he has been putting his efforts. So that's something else we need to do is get a chef in as well as a farmer. What are these guys doing? Ideally, we would have a chef slash farmer. These guys, they need to be dealt with. Let's put some doorways in. That, that seems like a great plan. All right, the first millwood harvest is actually starting to come in over here, so that's working out pretty well for us. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to take before they're all good, but I'm hoping not that long, because they all should have been planted roughly together. You can see they're all on like 99s, 93s, 97s, so that they're doing okay. We've just got to wait for everybody to go ahead and uh, do the actual processing. Now, these shine bugs, I'm not sure what to do about them, because obviously they are inside the bedroom. Maybe this elderly one will get rid of if this other one gets trapped outside but I'm a little bit worried that we're gonna end up with both of them trapped inside the bedroom and that that is totally 100% opposite to what we were trying to do here but maybe it will work out and if it does we can just as I say use violence as our solution I'd also like to get this tile built because it seems that it's uh, turning this nice simple room into actually a quite weird lumpy area and I doubt the game is accepting that as an actual room if we go and have a look at the room over Overlay, yeah, it's all part of the same area. You can see the maximum tile size is 64, and we're currently at 115. Same sort of situation with this tile size of, well, 1,010. That's huge. Okay, I want to try and get these two shine bugs out of here. And I found this thing in the food, the airborne cricket but crit up bait. I'm not entirely sure what it's about, but we will try and find out. Do, do we actually need to use any type in particular? Okay, we'll try for the, oh, I don't know, select bait. I mean, it doesn't tell us what we're picking up. I'm going to go with a phosphorus because I have a feeling that's the one that's going to get the shine bug. We'll do that and we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed that it works the way we want it to. 
Oh, he's stuck in a little glass cage. Let's let him out. There we go. Oh, yeah. Another slickster for the crew. These guys should actually be clearing out all the carbon dioxide down here at quite a prestigious rate. Uh, they should be making a whole bunch of crude oil, which hopefully is going to drip down into this pump. We're going to set up a small uh, distillery underneath here. Uh, so it should be... People feed in materials at the top that the hatch turn into coal. The coal then gets turned into power and carbon dioxide. Obviously, the power gets used, and the carbon dioxide gets eat, eaten by the slicks, which then turn the carbon dioxide into the crude oil, which we then should hopefully also be then able to turn into like petroleum and turn that petroleum into power. So this should be a whole throughput of power, maybe, hopefully. It should be cool. It should be cool. We'll see exactly how it works out. But we need to come through here. I need to go to the critter drop-off. And I want to put these guys in here. And then we're going to come up here and start just destroying <coughs> all this stuff up here. I'm uh, going to start with the X. Going to rip all these down. Oh, there was a thing that I didn't do over here that's very important. You hatch. Uh, what are we going to feed you? We're going to feed you dirt, I think. The only reason I say dirt is, of course, because the composter outputs that dirt. And we also dig it up. And also we get it from the printer machine. So hopefully that will work out all well for us. Now what we need to do is go through and uh, wrangle these guys. It's going to be a long job. Going to be quite a few of them to do. Uh, hopefully, in fact, there's only four of them. If there's more than four, we need to figure out which ones, yeah, indeed, uh, that we want to... Um shuffle along to the next level of the game in a euphemistic way. Okay, so this guy is the old guy of the group, age 57. Let's attack him and let's put it up on a high priority and let's see who actually comes along to do this. I'm not sure who actually has the priorities for, for attacking. I think it's misaligned, but she's uh seems to be mixed up in other things right now. Just, just as I say that, here comes the noise. Misaligned coming in, doing the business. Let's see the aggression happen. Aggressive. Ah, oh, and it's the one that's getting wrangled beautiful well which one's gonna happen first the wrangling or the killing uh turns out the killing does anything happen when we're doing that at the same time no 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 bugs to be found because that would be cool if we ended up like wrangling and getting a bit of meat that that would be weird right oh 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 he he dropped one why would he do that is he still wrangled wrangle him up come on buddy what why would you do that dropping on the ladder is not a great play that's the cypher doing that there i mean obviously if he's out of, out of uh, breath, he's out of breath. But that, that wasn't a great play. Classic problem where the builders cannot reach the roof. So I'm going to go ahead and put a bunch of ladders in here. Hopefully that will speed up all the construction going on. A little worried about that polluted water up there. Most importantly, how much polluted is it? It's not actually too bad. But I'm waiting for it to all drop down on my... Uh, okay, all right, bye, guys. Captain... Uh, sorry, Dr. Captain Subs coming along and delivering the hatch. Unfortunately, we are not inside the stables because of this broken tile right here. This is the one that I'm trying to get fixed up so that that can really go ahead and do the job that it's supposed to be doing. And along come all the other duplicates just to help us out here. Having a quick look at the atmosphere again. You can see we are starting to tidy up all of that chlorine. It's beautiful, beautiful on its way out of here. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this pump afterwards. I'm tempted to just completely rip it down because of course once all the carbon dioxide just flowing starts flowing through there well we've got the slicks to deal with that okay there are mops to be done now but i don't think there's going to be any great problem to either the hatches or the uh build crew down here a little bit of a problem probably for a lunar cop who needs to come along and do the actual uh mopping there but all of that's going to eventually get tidied up put it into uh, this bottle emptier over here where it sits down and gets pumped up runs through the water sieve and then gets to sit here as normal water Water, where eventually over time it just disinfects itself from dying on a normal liquid uh, because of, I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this food poisoning needs polluted water to survive on in normal liquid it'll just die by normal liquid I mean normal water sorry I'm not sure about salt water I've not tried it Hmm, hmm, hmm. Despite being the only power source in the game at the moment, I'm going to do something crazy and rip both of these down and then move them all along a couple of tiles so that I can put a coal storage bin right here. Legitimately disappointed on how long it is taking for these guys to build these coal generators down here. These guys have been working for most of the cycle. Now, obviously, they did also rip down the materials here. But to me, that just means they didn't have to carry all the other materials as far. As you can see, people are running out of oxygen. We really, really do need to sort those uh, atmosphere suits out. Of course, a fast mover like Forrest there should be able to come along and get the work done because, you know, he moves up and down the ladder quickly, but unfortunately he's not the fastest at the building. So, uh, you know, good. 
not great. Oh, Decipher. Decipher, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Oh, he's coming along to eat the animals he looked after. Oh, the horrors. But, you know, you do what you need to do in these survival situations, right? Uh, on the plus side, though, oh, there's Millwood. Okay, so I've been staring at this side for a little while now, and I feel like we need to try and do something different to get the food running here. What I'm actually going to do is get the farm tower and put them upside down here. I think that might be a winner. I'm going to see if we get the pinch of peppers running, because obviously we can't do these. They just... They need too much uh, too much management, so let's not do that, and let's even deconstruct this building here, because if we're making this cooler, we're probably not doing it right, right? We should be using the natural environment to help in any way we can. Plus, we, we don't have the ice yet. I mean, we do have the ice, but it's like... It's all the way down here. This is one's out zone. And where else have I seen some, some ice? It's been around somewhere. Look, right down here. Look, we've even got a few weasel wars. Mm -mm. I'm surprised Dr. Captain Subs here hasn't gone crazy and started killing people during practice. But uh, uh, that's all right. Maybe he thrives on the pressure of not much sleep. I've known people to do that. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. See see if uh, when people actually go to the infirmary, anything serious happens. Speaking of the infirmary, have we actually infirmed the infirmary up at any point? We've not. Should we get around to doing that? Because you know what you need? You need a mess table in there. Let's have a look at the room overlay. It'll tell us down here. Hospital med... Oh, oh there's, there's many things here now. Oh, what happened to the med bay? Anyway, no big problem. All we actually need to do for this place to make it as clean and wonderful as possible is to just drop hang about a plumbing. Where are you? A lavatory in here there we go beautiful now we just need to get it wired up to that lot over there that shouldn't be a problem we can just run the clean water over there and then get the dirty water coming along here and then we'll have like a clean dirty clean no wait <laughs> dirty clean dirty uh situation on the go yeah because this is now a clean down here okay yeah that that works actually really well for us oh that that's a tea someone has gone and dropped their coal literally seconds away from putting it inside there. That's that's painful. That's painful. We could really have used that. Uh, technically, I think that's got everything inside it it requires. Let's click this and see what it says. It might not be working, but they are all there. So beautiful. We've got ourselves a, uh, a hospital. Not even a med bay. A hospital. Oh, I realize I have made a mistake here. We want to go uh, stations, grooming station, and we definitely want to have one of those here. Oh, no, we do have one there. Why are they not groomed? Let's cancel that. Why? why? Low price. Priorities are probably why. I have noticed that the Cyphers managed to drop two say, uh, two hatches down here now. Not not the biggest problem in the world, but it uh, would have been nicer to not do that. <laughs> and no longer just a non-functional toilet. Now also functional. Wonders. Wonders. Uh, wondering why there's not any pump coming out of here, though, and that is because of the power, and that is uh, held up down here, because for some reason, people just aren't interested in the power. Let's do uh, level six there and see if that means anybody else is going to get on it. Let's have a look. Uh, forest, number one priority all of a sudden. Beautiful, beautiful. Hopefully someone's going to be making uh, this here. Okay, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. The reason that I wanted this storage bin made is so that I could come down here, we can go consumable ore, we go coal, and we go nine. Thanks. Also, whilst we're doing that, consumable ore, coal, let's deconstruct that one. I get it. This grooming station, five. This grooming station, five. This grooming station... Uh, oh, we're all sort of five. I, put, I thought I put that up. I was like, why does... No critters available. C cannot ranch. No, no critters available. Loads of... What? Why not? Oh, is it because you're a baby? That could be it. It could be because you're a baby. I believe that changes on cycle five. I might be wrong there. We'll see through and see if anyone's a little bit older. Oh, is that Was that the oldest one? Yeah, five appears to be the eldest. So this guy, no, this guy over here will be the one to grow up first. Okay, we've got a bit of power going, but I just heard a beautiful thing hum coming from up here. Let's go and have a look, see if we've got a farmer cooker. I mean, we've got a cooker. Maybe that's what we want. Farming supply and build. Let's let's do this. What's this sand? I don't care about sand. I mean, I kind of care about sand. It's a pretty important one. But who's going to be our cook person? We've not seen him for a while. I'm sure he won't mind being a chef. Monsieur Shrouticus. Let's go for it. Let's bring him out and let's get him back on the board. How are you doing, sir? Good to see you as always. You're actually going to come in here. We're going to. Should we use some of these skill points that we've been building up? It's quite a bit. Let's start with Shrouticus. He is going to be a cook guy. Yeah, I would like you very much to be the grill. The doctor. We've not given him his doctoring. Let's do that. That's beautiful. Bedside manner. Wonderful. Decipher's got four levels. We're already up to the top of uh, ranching there. Maybe we want to give him uh, those two as well. And he's got the full farming uh, layout. I'm not sure what else we would give him there. He doesn't seem to want to actually do anything in particular. 
particular. Uh, and we've got like people loving all these jobs here. Carrying, surviving. Like, do I get the improved carrying skill anyway? I don't know. I'm a little bit worried about the morale need. Wait, 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 wait. Morale 6, morale need 11. I think we should probably stop there. Let's have a look at Luna. Okay, so we can go, uh, we've got morale 9, needed 4. We can definitely push up some more. Oh, you've got the plumbing and the tidying. It looks like we're going to make you an artiste. Okay, beautiful. And you still got much more morale than you actually need. Three more skill points to wear, to spend at some point, but I've got a feeling we're going to be wanting to send people down these lines for the rocketeering at some point. Speaking of forest, my man, looks like you are actually set up to go towards that, so we'll go for the two supplies. Perfect morale versus need balance there. Mad Frank, you are a builder. Okay, that's fine. I have seen you do some digging, so let's do that. Is this way over the top? Morale needed 12. Maybe you're going to go crazy. Maybe not. Maybe be the same for misaligned here um, can we give her some more carrying because she's already super strong right let's do that and see if it actually requires the hat okay beautiful some skill points spent hopefully people are now going yeah nice for their third eye inducing hat i assume that's what that's all about that the hat didn't even materialize it just put a led in the middle of their forehead what's it, is luna also gonna get an led upgrade why is this why what am I supposed to be taking from that? I don't know. I don't know. One thing Clay does very well in their games is just the cute little creatures and stuff. They're just so amazing. Literally every game I've ever played, they've got something just makes you go, oh, I love it. Okay, I promised you food, and so far all we've done is dealt with gases, but trust me, there is a reason for that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come along here, I'm going to go food, we're going to get the planter boxes, we're going to throw all this down here. You might notice that the door is at the top. I might not. I might even want to put it in the roof rather than just at the top like that, because I want to make this my mushroom farm, my mushroom farm. And Actually, you know what? We're going to cancel that build. I'm going to go ahead and go as far as put a base. We want the manual airlock down below. We want to have some tiles up top and then maybe this little lock situation here will stop my carbon dioxide escaping you see that i've put a vent at the top here uh, and we are definitely going to go ahead and make use of that i'm just wondering what the best way to get to the top of this might be and i think maybe letting this oxalite free here might be the route uh, also i think i think it's time we took all this down yeah 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 i think it's time now I have a reasoning for that and that is all to do with this little bit down here. I want to go ahead, I'm going to leave that vent right there, I want to go ahead and expand on this. I think I want to get rid of the gas vent here so we'll deconstruct that and then I want to put another, if I can find the ventilation, another gas filter right here. Uh, that's upside down is it? Yeah that's upside down so we're going to have to figure out how to do that again. How is, wait what? No it's not. I mean it is but it's not. Let me just show you what I've just discovered there oh, I see it's because of the vent so I can't actually put this right like this okay that's fine because the vent because of the ventilation layout there it totally looked like that the the, uh, the white one came after like this group of three with the ventilation machine but it turns out no I'm very wrong Rain of resources at the bottom here, and that's because if we go all the way at the top, we can see that people are busy taking this apart. That's beautiful. I'd also like to get rid of this particular bit of ladder if we can, because it's uh, it's off of the axis that I like to get things running. I should imagine that on this side, we're actually going to end up with a fireman's pole eventually, but it's going to take a little bit of time before we can get to that level of production. Right now, I just, I just want to get my mushrooms running, you know? In fact, whilst we still have a hole in the roof, I'm going to come down down here i'm gonna go for ventilation i want to get a gas pump down in this carbon rich environment down here uh, i might even want to put it a little bit lower down let's uh, cancel that one quick i can't cancel it in this field of view but there we go uh, and then go vents i want a gas pipe are we gonna run into anything if we just kind of run up like this i know we've got a couple of jumps that we need to do here i'm wondering if actually we want to jump the, uh, no, this is this is the temporary stuff. Let's uh, let's figure out how to do it. If we go that way first, then a gas bridge, and then we can just oh, not press R, press O, uh, and put these over the places we need to go. One of those and one of those, and then we can have the gas pipe connect everything else up. Oh 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 yes, there we go. We've got a bit of grooming going. We knew this slickster would turn age five at some point and get it all uh, working. Oh well, I really would like to also, if we can, 
mop all that up. That, that'd be great. Oh, look, we're storing power. Quite a lot of power. We've got two of the coal generators down here running pretty well. Hopefully when this guy... Oh, what do you mean, starvation? No, Dr. Captain Subs as well. My friend, what are you doing? Let's see if you can come along and get anything to eat from... What are you doing? What? Oh, using the toilet first, then you got to go in. Why would you do it in that order? That that just doesn't seem like the right order to do it in, man. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, we have not been quick enough with these guys. We can put the pinch peppers in place, but I've got a feeling we're not going to be able to actually get them working. Uh, as we can see, uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we just don't have going here. In fact, we're supposed to feed some polluted water in here. I, I don't have polluted water. One thing is for certain, when we when these guys die, we're going to completely re-gut and redo this place to kind of make it a little bit more Drek friendly so we can get the pinch peppers up and running i think we then we want to have a floor tile here with the groom station and stuff but then gaps either side so the directs can't escape uh, uh, that's definitely how i would like to work it as well maybe we can move this floor up one yeah yeah there's a whole bunch of stuff i'd like to do to make that work a lot better but these guys are coming along and filling in all these gas pipes really desperate to get this lot up and running here so we can start moving some of that carbon dioxide up here and get those mushrooms running it's re it really is the thing that i'm after here maybe on oh, i was about to say the other side but maybe over here we can start doing some uh, bristle blossom next i think that's probably the next thing to work on but they do have temperature requirements that we may or may not have trouble meeting yeah i've been looking at the uh, kitchen for a little while now being like why isn't Traducus making any food and now we understand why i think in this industrial room here we're gonna go ahead and try and make this better we're gonna go for a power transformer I'm gonna put it down like that i'm not sure if we can run that up and through i don't think we can so there must be a better way of doing it so let's have a, 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 a quick deconstruct here power wise get rid of that and then of course i want to go power heavy watt power turn that around and let's wait and see how long this takes to get built i think we could do with a thermo sensor in here i've said this to uh said the space here to be deconstructed but i don't want that i don't want that we're gonna have a thermometer um a thermostat in the middle of the room here i'm gonna get some automation wire and we're gonna go down across and up into that hopefully we've got all the wires that are needed for that and we'll set that if it gets below 50 degrees that the space heater can be turned on that will save us a little bit of power hopefully but also keep this as a nice steady temperature for our slicks down there it's on the low end of what they can survive on but you know it's good for our duplicates as well in that manner dr captain subs complaining again is he is he like a, a bottomless stomacher is that a problem no he seems to be okay and he's definitely like chipper and stuff cold air really cold air's a problem oh oh they're eating the drex ah lol okay so the carbon dioxide appears to be flowing out from down here it's coming up through all these pipes and stuff pipes bridges crossover points there's a lot going on right here but it is temporary as i've mentioned before and it should hopefully drag its way up here and i'm hoping the fact that we've got some holes in the roof will end up displacing all this oxygen that we have in this area i know trying to displace oxygen it's a bit of a crazy one i'm just gonna power my way through the game system here and let's have a look and see if it is doing what we want it to be doing on the f4 screen yeah, yeah actually pretty much it is okay so we've got another vent on this thing uh, another filter and i'm gonna bring it along down this way pull it up here and into there because this is now our hydrogen filter oh that's nice that's nice i would also like to get some way of uh, clearing this lot out but that is actually going to come part and parcel with the whole lot this is now beginning to become our waste gas production facility or like classification facility that's interesting i think it's a little bit packed in like that maybe we'll make another one at some point but you know it's a good start we, all we need to do is get gases down to this end of the line at which point they'll go through all these different filters finding out where they are and are not wanted and being dealt with accordingly looks like this is finally done i think i'm going to deconstruct it because the only thing we've got to deal with here now is carbon dioxide and that's going to take some time to be dealt with okay we've got an interesting situation going on here and i hope this guy is just about to show it he's going to come up into the side but because they've done a little crude oil splashy and instantly comes back out now this saves me a problem because i was wondering how i'm going to get this one filled in with these guys keep liking to go in there and sit there turns out all i had to do was wait oh and now because they don't want to sit in there someone's going to come along and do this construction errand let's have a look and see who it is mad frank in nine. Oh, okay well i suppose we're gonna to have to wait a little bit then well that's this power sorted and hopefully this means that the food is constantly going now that was job one i wonder what mad frank's on now 
now? Ah, oh, the filtration system that I just set up. Yeah, I, spo I suppose that's fine. Single build and stuff. I actually ended up having most of the crew working on the filtration system here. I'm all about that because, of course, we want to try and get it all ripped up and good. Uh, I'm not sure where we're actually going to have some pumps going to start pumping all the gases out. I feel like up here would be a good way. Maybe we could even pull out all this hydrogen. Ah, oh, look, yeah, the carbon dioxide flows well. Is it actually filling this area up? Beautiful. So this one here, can we please have as, where are you, where are you, the single fungal spore that we've got. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, it's Mr. Line actually going. Oh, and she, and she gone. And she gone. Well, who else is going to work on this? All right, Forrest reckons he's got it. Let's see if he's got it. I don't know. It seems like it might just about be a little bit too much for him. I don't think he's going to be able to hold his breath that long. Okay, so if green signal below 50, then we can start. Okay, that, that's good. We're currently at 55. I'm fine with that. Can we hit the slickster and see exactly what the comfortable range is? 50 to 140. So we want to make sure we don't drop below 50. Maybe I should have done it over this side, but, uh, you know, I'll be fine. Comfortable range is down to 35. Uh, sorry, livable range is down to 35 so we're only making them comfortable rather than you know dead or not uh, it says it's not a ranch because there's two little blocks up there that need filling in maybe we should just fill in some like this end bit and then it won't be quite so critical that every single block is in place i don't know Oh, oh, we got a problem, we got a problem. Uh, deconstruct now, do it. Uh, instantly, instantly. Where are you, Forrest? Thanks very much. Because if we press F7, oh, we get a lot of chlorine up there, and chlorine is not what I want. Thankfully, carbon dioxide does fit below everything else, but oh, no. That is so not what we want. Okay, is uh, Forrest coming down to do the job? He is coming down to do the job. Is it going to be a job that gets done in one go? You no, know, no. The, the cipher needed to take over as well. But there, now we have got it. Okay, I'm going to start taking down all the extra materials that we've got here. Because, we've, you know, we've done the thing that we wanted to do anyway, right? Uh, gas pipes this way. Let's press an F7 and have a see exactly where it is we can take down from. Okay, from the bottom to the top, we have got all the deconstruct set up. There's just a little bit of gas needing to go in there. I'm going to press the F4 and see if we have got any gases in here we don't want. No, it looks like it's all carbon dioxide. There's a little bit of oxygen up there, but I can live with that. So with that in mind, I'm now going to try and cap this off. Or at least I'm going to get Mad Frank to come along and cap this off. I think that's who's going to be doing the construction. Yeah, look, where, where is he? Oh, he's coming in from this side. That's fine. I'm fine with... I'm kind of fine with what's going on here. All this hydrogen definitely needs to be dealt with at some point, though. You know, I might just quickly keep this and these and all these down here because there's a lot of chlorine down this edge, and I'd like to get this sorted. So if I go ventilation gas pump and put that back there, and then up here try and like just go, hey guys, can you uh, make this the most important job in the world, uh, Doctor Captain Subs? In fact, Decipher takes over there. That's pretty good. Maybe even take out those. Go back to the gas pipe in the ventilation here and just connect that up with that. This should now and then enable us to start clearing out all the materials down below as well. Yeah, that would be cool. Who's uh, who's working on this? Dr. Captain uh, Dr. Captain Sub's current errand. <sighs> Turns out that's a bit of a mouthful to say there. But yeah, he's coming along to do the the supply and hopefully Mad Frank going to come along afterwards. All right, cool. All right, here is the one like the Mad Frank coming along to do all the building that needs building. I'm also going to purpose up a sweep order. Order. All right, bye. Oh, new printables available whilst we're watching Captain Sub. Uh, no, sorry, that was Mad Frank then. Let's go and have a look and see. Doctor operating, researching, operating, cooking, and ranching. None of these are afterwards. Salt water. I, you know what? I'm going to just reject a lot. I don't do that very often. I normally even take the care package, but no, just no. No, I made these guys sleep in a non-oxygenated environment all night long. Probably going to have to try and do something about that at some point. I'm feeling like maybe we want to have a ventilation pump up here, but I really need to get some of these other jobs done first. Like this one in particular. Who's coming along to do the construction? Mad Frank is. Okay, here comes the man himself getting this finally finally getting this pump done hopefully all these guys are going to be coming along and putting this new floor in i noticed that the uh the, the crude oil was starting to look into a little situation where it would flow outside the door in fact that has done so so i'm trying to set up a nicer gradient here i even want to take out these insulated tiles underneath but of course for that to happen we need to be able to get to the back of these and rebuild all the floor in a different place so we don't just drop crude oil everywhere even though we're already starting to drop it out there Mm, I feel like what we actually need to do is take this tile out, have a germ sensor there, and then lock this door if the germs... Uh, 
that, but then how do we drop the, uh, the dirty water off? Maybe put a door here to be locked when the germs are present. Is that something we can even do? Automation, let's have a look. Liquid sensor, duplicate motion sensor. Doesn't look like we've actually got a germ sensor at the moment, though I'm fairly sure it is something we can eventually end up learning if we come and have a look through all of this. Oh, look, we haven't even touched the medicine line. Let's just uh, go right to the end, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. So this airlock here seems to be working exactly as I thought it would. All the carbon dioxide is just getting trapped below the door layer. Yeah, working out really well. If only we could fix it up here, eh? Okay, let's disable this building. I'm watching the uh, chlorine slash carbon flow here. Uh, and I feel like, like the natural gas was doing over by the door a couple of episodes ago, we need to let it settle down before it'll pump more stuff up. Maybe even have underneath here a chlorine gauge. I think that would probably work out much, much better. Yeah, if we had to... Oh, and then it's, then it's flowing again, and I'm not sure whether we want to keep it or not. It's tough. It's tough. I'll definitely put a chlorine, a gas selection up there. So the gas element sensor, let's pop that right there. I suppose that's all the only place we need it. Oh, no, just as I was saying, I didn't want to drop crude oil everywhere. They've gone and dropped crude oil anywhere. But I suppose given the fact that it's all in the, uh, in the name of improving the area, then that's fine. Okay, Forrest coming along to put the gas element sensor in place. We've already got the wires back there, so hopefully as soon as he does this, we can come along, we can say, hey, can you look for chlorine, please? And I'll put a green signal when you do so. And then we just got to wait for all this to drift down here, or at least got to wait for the slicks to do their business and eat it all up. That should be fine, but man, I really wish Mad Frank and Miss Line would come along and dig this floor out a little bit quicker, or at least put it back into place a little bit quicker. All the digging has indeed been done to an exemplary standard. Uh, and I'm just going along, going X, and taking out all these items as and when we can. Forrest has taken damage. Like, legitimate damage. I'm not sure how he's done that. Let's send him to the... To the, the, the hospital. That's all. Okay, keep, keep on trying to call it the med bay. It's not a med bay. It's a hospital. And, of course, we've talked to Captain Subs not being able to get much sleep at any point. I'm sure this will go beautifully well. I wonder why they're delivering the granite all the way over here, despite the fact that all these guys are ready and set for deliveries as well. I'm not, I'm not overly sure, and it's not filling me with joy and happiness because it's not going in the most efficient way possible. Look, you're all the way over here. Why? Can you not take that? Yeah, dirt. There it is. Why not? Why not? Ooh, interesting. So we got down here and started. I'm wondering whether we actually want to put automation uh, atmosphere sensor, no, gas element sensor, and put it down here instead. It's not the biggest jump, so we can do that and go uh, X all of that. Thanks. Oh, yeah, here goes Mad Frank working like a boss. It turns out that he is definitely the man for the job when it comes to ripping stuff apart. Well, these guys are going around and tidying up all this area in the most inefficient way possible again. I do need to point out a little problem that we've got. We've got this dust cap. It has been had its growth halted because of fertilization. The fertilization it needs slime. Now this, this is a map without a, a swamp biome. So how am I supposed to get slime? Well, I'll tell you how. Over here, we got this little boy. If we expose him to polluted oxygen, he will take that in and he will produce some slime for us. Now, the thing is, this takes very, very long time. As you can see, only 10% of the consumed mass actually gets turned into slime. The rest is, put, is taken up uh, in metabolic actions and stuff like that. But as this is literally the only way I have of making slime, I suppose we're going to have to make do with that. My thought is that we're going to put a whole bunch of polluted water on the floor. We can get it from down uh, down over this way. Wait, where am I in the map? We can get it over this way without any germs in it, or of course we can take it from the toilets with germs. These two options, well, I'd rather take the one without germs, though I'm also told that once we've got the... Um, the distillery down here set up for the oil making petroleum and then the petroleum generator uh, consuming it will then produce some polluted water as well but these are all jobs for another day because i am gonna have to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure ladies and gentlemen today we went around and we re 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 rearranged a whole bunch of stuff yeah words they do fall out of my mouth occasionally we're starting to take control of the gas situation outside our m immediate doors and trying to make everything work wonderfully well we seem to have a consistent power supply issue 
at the moment. So with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you next time when we're going to try and work through the slime issue. I also feel uh, maybe we can try and figure out what's going on up here, like why we don't have water. I know the majority of it is to do with the fact that the uh, natural gas geyser still has six cycles until its next activity period. That that will definitely happen in next episode, but I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!